Now let's stand and say together the creed to reaffirm our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And now we'll have our prayers. Our prayers for Remembrance Sunday will begin with a minute of silence. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn them. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we shall remember them. With all our hearts and all our minds, let us pray to the Lord, responding, may God give us peace. Let us pray today for all those who suffer as a result of conflicts around the world, in the Ukraine, in the Middle East. And we ask that God may give us peace. We pray today for the servicemen and women who have died in the violence of war, terrorism, each one remembered by and known to God. Let us pray to the Lord. May God give us peace. For those who loved them in death as in life, offering the distress of our grief and the sadness of our loss, we pray to the Lord. May God give us peace. For the members of armed forces around the world this day who are in danger, remembering the family and friends and all who pray for their safe return, we pray to the Lord. May God give us peace. For civilian women, children and men whose lives are disfigured by war or terror, calling to mind in penitence the anger and hatreds of humanity, we pray to the Lord. For the leaders of all nations and all those in authority among us, for peacemakers and for peacekeepers, for all those who seek to keep this world peaceful, secure and free, we pray to the Lord. For those who bear the burden, the privilege of leadership, political, military and religious, we ask for gifts of wisdom to help resolve them in the search of reconciliation and peace. We pray to the Lord. O oh God of truth and justice, we hold before you those whose memory we cherish and whose names 
we'll never know. Help us to lift our eyes above the torment of this broken world and grant us the grace to pray for those who wish us harm. As we honour the past, may we put our faith in our future, for you are the source of life and hope, now and forever. Amen. And now for our act of penitence. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us therefore confess our sins, saying together, Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We have not loved ourselves as we ought. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we're going to offer one another a sign of God's peace. We are the body of Christ. By the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body and have all been made to drink of the one spirit. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. Let's offer one another a sign of peace.